What is up, everyone? It is me, the one, the only, Jack Slater, a.k.a. the Comic Outlaw. And you know how we roll. You know how we do. And you know that I'm holding an action figure in my hand. If you see my collection, you'll understand. I mean, that's how we do. Now, uh, lately, uh, I've been doing a lot of Marvel content. I thought I'd slide into something more uh, DC. More Batman, if you know what I'm saying. And what better than Alfred Pennyworth? Now, many are asking why. Why Alfred Pennyworth? Surely he's not the name when you think of, when average people think of Batman. They probably think of the Joker, or they probably think of the Penguin, or Gotham City, or whatever, you know. Christian Bell, Heath Ledger, the Jay Leto performance on Suicide Squad. Uh, you know, but out of all the heroes, and oftentimes I get asked what a hero is or what a hero does, what his meaning is, or you know, I always hear that heroes are fake. There's no guy with a magic ring that could fly off. In reality, there isn't. Uh, there's no Batman. There's no Iron Man. It's all fake. It's not real. None of it's real. And in this reality, that might be true. You know? Why are we rooting for people for the under like the Undertaker? You mean, we all know he's not dead, but when we have that moment of belief... And maybe that's why I decided, out of a lot of different stuff, that I would do this one. A little close-up right here. Because Alfred's just a man. Butler. Started in like the early days of Batman. He was a big, fat guy. And then his character evolved and changed. He became a soldier of fortune. He became this and that. If you watch Gotham, if you watch... The new Pennyworth series, he's a soldier of fortune, soldier of this and that. But I find it interesting, like interesting through every incarnation, every incarnation, just a man who loved his friend, Bruce's father so much that he agreed to take care of his son. You know, at that point, he was his guardian. He could have sent him off to a prep school and kept all the money. But he took that vow seriously, and he loved his son. He took care of his son. He raised his son. And it gives you an idea of what family, real family is. And sometimes people, you don't have to be blood in order to be family. And sometimes you are blood, and God bless you for that. You feel that bond. But sometimes that bond exists without family. I mean, uh, without blood. And you're still family. And those ties run deep. Because it's the same thing that ties people with blood or this and that. It's love. It's compassion. We so often think that Batman's a creature of fear, in which he is. Criminals fear him. But he would have been a lot worse if it wasn't for the love and compassion of one man that took him in, that gave him a home, that supported him. Even when he didn't want to support him. And isn't that what family does? You know, we all like to sit there around the Christmas times and think the family is this one great organism that supports us and loves us, but sometimes it's not. Let's be honest. Family's a fucking pain in the ass sometimes. They hurt you. They question you. They make you bleed in ways you didn't know existed. But yet, true family is always there for you. True family is always there to support you. And true family in the inside loves you. 
and Alfred probably actually I know definitely didn't want Bruce to be a gay crusader he wanted to get married be happy there's a lot of incarnations Batman Brave and the Bold we wrote a story about Batman getting married and being older and someone taking up the cowl in almost every incarnation of Alfred it seems like he hopes he loves and he has compassion and look at all the Robins Dick Grayson is a mix between Bruce Wayne and Alfred. He has Alfred's charm, sense of humor, with that little spark. But even Jason Todd, that was so far lost, still felt a connection to Alfred. Tim Drake, Damian Wayne, he is the grandfather. And maybe family is what it took to keep Bruce from driving into the dark side or deeper into it. And maybe that's what a hero is. We've had so much going on in this world's country and I realize you guys have been going through a tough time, but maybe a hero is that person who has a warm bowl of soup after a hard day, who lives with us mean and sometimes surly people because we know because they know that we're worth it in the end and that we do love them we just don't say it so on behalf of the mean and surly people that have that one person that it always seems to be your pillar that that hope that guides you back on behalf of all them i'm going to say we're sorry and we appreciate your good harbor but isn't that what family is? True family is faith, love. And yes, it's hard to mention, it's hard. I know how fans are like sitting there and their minds are all, Batman's fear, he kicks ass, and he has a Batmobile. Why, why love, why? Because it's what Beyond the fear, beyond anything else, is love. The love of a young child who lost everything in that alley. The love of one person decided to take care of him, stick with him, and nurture him to become a second father and mother. Maybe sometimes the greatest superpower we have is being there. Showing that one little bit of kindness, love, compassion that even the darkest souls can feel. Because Bruce is dark. He's been in dark places, but always there's a light and he sparked other lights, Grayson, Drake, Todd, Damien, Barbara, other lights to guide them back from the darkness. So maybe you should thank your family. You're not your kiss-ass family, you get Christmas cards from every two weeks, but your real family. The family that sometimes even you get pissed off at. But they always have your best interests at heart. Maybe you should take a moment to thank them. Ah, well, that was deep. Oh, man. But we still haven't opened the toy. I just love this character so much. We did a show on him, me and my uh, friend Magnus. And I believe he's truly the soul. Or he's... Bruce's humanity, or his first taste of humanity, would anger him. And Alfred is a hero, too. He's the biggest hero as that man that wears a red cape. He's the biggest hero as the man with claws right there in Marvel. So be your own hero. 
be your own villain. Be something to someone. If you see their situation, then reach out. So that's what family does. So, ah, uh, enough of the, the speech. It's on to the main event. Let's uh, open this up with my little key to the city. La -da -da -da, la -da -da. In the yellow submarine. Now, I do love me a good Petty Morph. Uh, I've been waiting for this toy for a while. And here, you see the back. Comes with Killer Croc and all the other ones. You want to collect them. It's a little much for me. I got the Tim Drake and I got Alfred, and that's pretty much all right. All right, we're gonna slide the butler right on out. All right, guys, check it out. And if I didn't give the full history about him being a butler and Bruce Wayne's butler and all this, you know, you guys can Google that shit. So. Alright, it has those fun plastic things I love so much. On first inspection. Alright. Here we have Croc's arm. Okay. Alright. Alright, we got different faces of Alfred. As you can see. All right, classic Pennyworth. Leave the suit. And this is mostly from the comic books what he's evolved into now. Very cool, actually. Very chic. The leg's a little loose. If you noticed, he sort of stands, but not really. I should probably get a stand for him. Um, this sometimes happens. Move back and forth. We have different faces, of course. Different heads. So you check it out. All right. This head is from the Batman movies, the Tim Burton movies. Um, he was the alpha that had been in all movies. Actually, he was one of the few actors that was in all four of the Batman movies, the Burton, the Schumacher. And let's see, we got this one here and I do believe he's the Batman from the Adam West series and we got zombie Alfred either hush or justice I don't know I don't care I didn't like it I thought they should give us another different head but it oh well all right a little mask Very hard cup to get out. <coughs> Ooh, man. Yeah. Oh, smash. A little tray. Now we can hold on to with a mask and a cup. Do you like? It will go in the collection. I uh, probably will use the real head or the head from the Tim Burton movies because. That's when I really started to notice him. He had been the character a long time. Got mad props for that. And uh, yes, this is Alfred. Review. Comic Outlaw. And if you got family out there, you got a group, you got a crew. You got anyone. Even if you don't think you do. Sometimes you do without even realizing it. Reach a hand out. Because you never know. When they're going to disappear. Believe you me. This is a comic outlaw. And I will catch you on the flip side. Yeah. Laters.